With Halloween just two weeks away, there's a neighborhood Halloween house you need to put on your schedule. Yeah, our Kurjan Bianca joins us live in Briargate. Kurjan, this house, I mean, it's bonkers. If you love Christmas lights and Halloween, it's a must see stop. Hey, Josh and Brynja, it is definitely spooky season here in this Briargate neighborhood. We are at 9060 Melbourne Drive and putting this all together is no easy feat. It takes months of prep and 60,000 lights. For a decade now, each October, the Noller family decorates their front yard with jack-o'-lanterns and flying skeletons. We kind of love all holidays. Um, Halloween's kind of his thing and Christmas is kind of my thing, so we kind of go crazy for all of them. Um, but we, we love being kids. We're kids at heart and Halloween brings out the kid in us. <laughs> Trick or treaters love it too. Each year gets bigger and better with pyrotechnics making a debut. Ah, there goes that fire. So my boys love it. We have six kids and every year, every holiday comes around and they're like, oh, it's time to set up. But then by the end, they're all dancing in the driveway. Back again this year are the singing lights, which they added during COVID. Pa parents were scared to have them go out. And so we put together something so that they could feel safe in their cars and still be able to enjoy Halloween. Families can drive by, tune into a radio station, and check out the display while listening to nine spooky songs with synchronized choreographed lights. Plus, weekends may include candy and a special visit from this guy. They even have a haunted house set up at their martial arts studio. All proceeds benefit the American Cancer Society. Over the last month, we lost my mother-in-law to cancer, and um, this was a big part of her, and she loved coming and seeing the lights. All in all, it takes four months to choreograph the lights, two and a half weeks to set up in the yard, but in the end, worth it. I think just everybody's reactions and the kids' faces and seeing how happy they are to see all the stuff. They're also doing this to help benefit the American Cancer Society. There's a donation box right here. You can stop by and visit from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. This is going to be a lot of fun. You can turn off your headlights, turn up the radio, and jam out to all the music. They're also planning on gearing up for Christmas, too. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Kurjan Bianca, Caradio News Channel 13. So fun. Love to see it, Kurjan. And with all the wind really putting everyone in the spooky mood today.